What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame River 4. In this video we're going to be doing stage 101 and we're also going to be doing stage 102 of Build the Ector 1. So can't wait to do this review. I'm going to go grab all the pieces out for issue 101 which is just here and we'll be back in just a sec. Okay guys all the pieces are now out so we've got two pieces of glasses and then we have the screws here so I'm not going to use them at the minute I'm just going to take this section here which is 101A and that is going to go in the center of this trim so that will be your last chrome molding section here just make sure that it's around the right way when you're popping it in just lay it down into place you can test fit these first I mean I've stopped going past the test fit stage because these this model is just it fits flush every time I put something in it never fails me and fits in first time every time once you've got that and you've done that section there that's how that should look they call that figure A and then that is now the finished frame so what we need to do now is try and get the windows in on this other side so what I'll do is I'll just scoop this round here I'm gonna work at it on this side upside down so you guys can kind of see what's going on that side at the same time so it gets a bit fiddly here uh, and a little bit annoying because you have to hold so many things in place. But what you want to do is kind of like insert these windows into the recesses that they got. And then as they are in to position where they need to go, you then need to use your chrome cover to hold them on. So that will go over the top. And hold them into place like so so best thing to do is just, just hold them on like that and then it will tell you where it wants you to insert and add first so it's telling for us to put the VM screws so there's three VM screws on the outside so what we're gonna do I'm gonna just skew it this way I'm gonna go grab my trusty screwdrivers and come around this way and then we're going to get the screws out as we need them so we don't get the wrong ones out. So these are the VM screws. And what it's saying for us to do is to put them along the top edge. So there's one, two, and three that go along the top edge here. I'm going to just grab, as I said, the screwdriver and then hope that none of this falls apart while I'm trying to install them. Okay, so they're the VM screws. So there's one, two, three VM screws that are holding that all into place and it feels nice and secure. And on the inside, which I'm not going to really show you right now, they want us to put AP screws. So there's one, two, three AP screws towards this side and then there's two VP screws which go down this side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these VM screws away because they're now done. So they're the VM screws. They're so close in numbers and these are VP and AP. So I'm gonna put the VP screws in first and there are two VP screws and they go down this inner edge down here. So I can't really show you because I'm doing it from the inside and they go in the lower two of the ones that are on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just pop that in and hope that it bites enough for it to catch on. So guys, I just want to try and show you this angle. It is really important that we get these right. And I will bring the magazine over so we can have a look. So on the outside, as you can see here, the VM screws go. So that's on the outside. This is the other opposite side, but you want to make sure you put, there's one, two, three screws, and they're on that outer side. On the inside, as you can see here, you want AP, 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 and two VP screws there. And then I'll show you here. So these are VP screws there. And then there is one here, down here, just at the bottom. Don't know if you can see it, might have to go that way around. So these are the VP there, VP here. Then on this side, AP screws goes in down here on this one there. 
and then just up the top here and then right down in the corner down here and the lower corner is another AP screw so that is how that window frame is held on and as you know I put a little bit of fabric tape around the bottom there and um, which we'll possibly will do again on the other side just because I like to cover up those holes on that bottom edge and that's what I'm going to do just put a bit of fabric tape along the bottom there you don't have to do this this is just me doing it because I want to this is not an, this is not an essential thing to do it's just something I want to do as I said you don't have to do this at all it's just something I want to do there we go I'm going to lift this up in a second so you can see Need to move the fabric tape down, close the doors up, and then scoot her over. Are you ready? And then, as you can see now, the windows on that just look incredible. So, this is what we've just done here. So, absolutely fantastic. Look at that, that's all that section now done on that one side. So, she's looking like an absolute beast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it that way around while we just check out what we've got to do next. Let's put the back a little bit more. She is heavy, guys. And then we'll have a look on here. So if we are now going to do stage 102, the rear door. I don't know what we're going to do about this because it does have a sticker on. We might have to see how to remove it. But we're going to get the pieces out and we'll be back in just a sec. So we're not going to just move on just yet because I don't know if you've noticed something but we have a sticker that's already pre-installed on the back of this door but we're going to go for the Mike Lane ones because these ones are too big and they're not accurate so I don't know whether it's going to be as easy as we could just literally peel this guy off. There. It's left behind the residue, so I'm gonna go get some sticky stuff removed and give that a good clean up, and then we'll be back in just a sec. As you can see, guys, I managed to get the sticker off the back of the door, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So I'll just talk you through how I did that. So obviously you saw that I peeled off the sticker initially, left it behind a load of sticky stuff. What you need to do is just get some sticky stuff remover, just squirt that on a little bit just to keep that on there for five to seven minutes, it recommends, just to get off the real sticky stuff. Then I went over with a little bit of elbow grease uh, over the top, just using this lint cloth, um, just wiping over nice and smooth. And then there was a couple of markers on there. So there were a couple of little marks where it marks where you should put the sticker. Uh, and I got that off with a tiny little bit of um, car compound, um, just using the edge of this, rubbing it, and it got rid of the um, thing. I did have to push, push quite hard to get rid of those markers, um, but they're gone now. So what we're going to do is, this isn't in this issue, but we want to be installing the Mike Lane sticker mod. We have a video which we'll put the link up for, so I'm going to go ahead and just quickly install the Mike Lane um, rear one so there's the rear cargo door so if you don't have um, the door transfer kit you can go to Mike Lane and go grab the door transfer kit so he supplies it so you've got the doors uh, the two doors and the rear door and I'm going to go pop those on using his kit uh, I do have a video as I said and I've already shared the link with you on that if you want to go check but we will be fast forwarding through this so that we can get on with the build so we'll see you guys as soon as this is done is now the Mike Lane 
transfer. Look at that. <laughs> look how cool that looks. Um, so compared to what it should be, I mean, I'll go with the sticker that it would have come with. So this is the sticker that they supply. And as you can see, um, size comparison, it's a lot bigger and it's really not the right shape um, compared to his one. So um, it's just so much, makes so much of a difference, but there you go. So that is the my claim one and it is now exactly accurate and in the place that it's meant to be. So we can now get on with building this issue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my templates back on here. Like so. And then just pop these out of the way for the moment. And let's have a look at what it wants us to do. So, the first thing we're going to be doing is installing 102B. We will need some AM screws, so let's just quickly open those up. And this is going to be the back handle. So the handle will just sit on the back here and click into there, like so. And then on the inside, we need to just pop in a little AP screw, which is what or AM screw, should I say, not an AP screw. And that will just slot into there. Is the AM screw, so that's the door handle there. So that is 102B, the door handle. And then on the inside, there's the AM screw holding it in place. So we'll turn over and see what we've got to do next. So the next thing we get to do is pop a hinge into place. So we're just going to turn it up on its face this way around. And then what it's saying for us to do is to take this hinge and it kind of wraps around and sits over, sits over the top just like this. I don't know whether it's supposed to sit flush over the top of these or not. But I'm just going to give it a little push. Yeah, it looks like it does fit flush over the top of those, which is fine. Uh, yeah, so it should just sit over the top like that. So it'll look like this on that side. And then there are RM screws holding those into place. So let's go grab the RM screws. So these are just the little flat ones. Um, I might try a different screwdriver just to see. Where's my big one? The big trusty ones over here. I'm going to start them off with this one. And then I'm going to finish them off with the big one. I'm just going to make sure that they're nice and flush. There we go. There we go. That's got it. So then the two RM screws are just on there like so. And it's saying... I think guys, I think that's it for this one. So um, that's what it should look like at the end of that stage. I'm just going to quickly pop these screws back in here so that they don't get lost. These are the RM screws. Pop those in place. A little bit about Master Builder. Don't want to ruin it all for you. Going to skip to the back. Um, so in the next set of issues, looks like we are going to be doing some more fun stuff. So. These are the ones coming up in the next set of issues. So I can't wait to do those with you guys. Please join me for the next one. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe just by clicking just down here on the subscribe button. Set the bell if you don't want to miss out on any more videos. Uh, and then as I said, this is the, f the finished result at the end of this stage here, which is really fantastic. Um, yeah, and then I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.